Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to address a very touchy subject uh, I get a lot of flack for because I don't do heat treatments for bed bugs. But this is a pretty serious uh, thing that's been going on here lately. Uh, last year we had a couple people actually burn their houses down uh, trying to do their own uh, bed bug treatments. Uh, they were using isopropyl alcohol. Uh, now, it wasn't an actual heat treatment, but they ended up burning their house down. Um, one of the things a lot of people uh, give me flack for is because I talk bad about heat treatments, and I say uh, basically that you don't want to do um, a heat treatment because... All right, here, here are the facts. Bed bugs, uh, the adults take... In order to kill adult bed bugs, the temperature has to be above 118 degrees. In order for the eggs to be destroyed by a heat treatment, the temperature has to be up into plus 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, these are Fahrenheit temperatures. I'm not exactly sure what the Celsius temperatures would be, but um, that's just to put things in perspective. That's what the temperature has to be. Now, a lot of these guys on my other videos, if you go through and read my videos... Uh, the comments underneath the video. Oh yeah, well we get 119 degrees all the time. And I'm like, well that's still not hot enough to kill the eggs. And the problem is the eggs can take anywhere from 10 days to 4 months to hatch. And a lot of these guys that do heat treatments, they'll give like a 90 day guarantee. And they'll be like, oh yeah, but 90 days. But the thing is, 4 months is 120 days. So then when your eggs hatch in 4 months because there's no residual chemical there to kill the bugs when they hatch, because all they've done is a heat treatment, um, then they can come back in and say, oh, well, you know, you must have reinfested your house from a neighbor or from a family member, or, you know, you're going through your same old habits, how you got your bed bugs in the first place. You just must have brought them in uh, just like you did before. All right, so that's, uh, that's one of the major issues I have with heat treatments, and that's why I don't do them as a company myself now a lot of these guys like to brag oh yeah we're getting 85 to 95 percent success rate on our heat treatments but the thing is they're only counting the people who call them back um they're just figuring that the people that they did a heat treatment for uh because they were satisfied they didn't call them back instead of the fact that they were overcharged for a bed bug treatment is probably why they didn't call them back because they were worried they were going to have to pay a whole lot more money like one of my customers actually ended up hiring me to do a residual pesticide spray where he had already done a heat treatment and it didn't work. He did not call the company back because he knew he was going to have to spend more than $2,000 to get a retreat done. And so instead of calling them, he called me. Um, so that's not really in their statistic because he never called them to tell them, hey, by the way, what you did didn't work. So it's really kind of skewed where they try to say, oh, yeah, well, I've got 95 percent success. I'm getting 85 percent success. I'm getting 100 percent success with liquid pesticide and 100 beats out 95 every day of the week. Um, the, the problem with a heat treatment is when they fail, you go through and you do pest control for somebody. And uh, let's say you've got 10 jobs and that one job that you end up charging, you know, $3,500, $4,500 for to do a heat treatment fails, that one person is going to tell all their friends, that, hey, this guy overcharged me, it didn't work, it wasn't successful, I, uh, and that's, that's the main reason. I mean, I just can't afford that in my business. I can't afford to charge somebody a whole bunch of money and then have it not work. It's just not enough success rate in, uh, you know, heat treatments for bed bugs you know, until they reach 100% success, I'm, uh, I'm not going to do them. Um, but that's not the main reason for this video. A lot of this stuff I'm saying, you already know about me, that I've had these stances on bed bugs for uh, almost two years now since I've been in YouTube. Um, you know, this is one of my major beefs with the industry is the, uh, the gross overcharging of pest control services. Uh, there's no reason to charge that much for a pest control service, the kind of prices you end up paying uh, for a heat treatment. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of people below that say, well, we're not like that. We don't charge a whole lot of money. But, you know, the, the fact is, is that 
let me give you let me give you a story. Two weeks ago, I did a bed bug job for a customer of mine. Now, it's she lives in a depressed area of town, in actually the county that I live in. Um, she had a uh, pretty pretty heavily infested single wide trailer. Now, this is a single wide trailer. The lady is a retired school bus driver. She doesn't make a lot of money. She doesn't have a lot of money. She doesn't have, you know, the kind of money that they charge for heat treatments. Now, I saw her estimate from another company. Uh, they were going to charge her $3,500 to treat a single wide trailer with a heat treatment. And then they were going to come in and they were going to charge her for uh, bed bug covers for her mattress and her box spring. And then after 90 days, they were going to come in with a dog to sniff around to see, to make sure that they had uh, gotten rid of all the bed bugs and everything so they could clear the house for bed bugs. The total, after everything was added together and all our little transactions here and there were added together, the total bill was almost $4,500 for a retired school bus driver that, you know, is doing the best she can to put. Uh, dinner on her table, nonetheless have to you know go around and 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 pay for a forty five hundred dollar bed bug treatment. You know that's just outrageous, and I feel like it's a gross negligence to your customers to charge them so much when they can't afford it. And then you're going to go to this person's you know place of business. You're going to go to um, the same restaurants they go to. You're going to go to the same hotels they go to. You're going to go to the places where these people are taking bed bugs. And then you're going to wonder, well, how did I get bed bugs? Well, because you were too, uh, you know, you, but anyway, that's my soapbox moment for the day. But what I, the main reason that I am making this video is because I'm a member of several Facebook groups on Facebook, you know, about uh, pest control and pest control practices and the ways that different people do different things. And a man had posted on Facebook. And he said, how many, now he's, you know, a pest control technician like me. And he's like, how many people here have done damages to people's home doing heat treatments? And, you know, I was reading down through the comments and everything, through the replies to the original post. And uh, one guy actually, and this is what really stood out to me, is he came on and he said, you know, if you're doing heat treatments and you haven't damaged someone's house, then you're not doing them correctly. Uh, you know, you're not getting your heat hot enough. You're not, you know, a lot of the ways that these guys do their heat treatments is they will have the heat machine sitting outside. They'll run a ductwork over vinyl siding windows and the vinyl window frame will melt under the heat of the machine because, you know, it's plastic, it's vinyl. And the vinyl cannot withstand the type of heat that they pump out of these heat machines. Um, so not only now you have a house that was treated with heat that possibly still has bed bugs you also have to replace your windows because they've damaged your windows and they force you to sign a waiver before they will even come in and treat your house so that when they do this kind of damage to your home well sorry you signed a waiver you knew what you were getting into before you started this so we're we're not responsible for melting your window frames that's a really big offense and I don't care what anyone says, and I'm going to get a lot of flack for this in my comments. I do every time I get a heat treatment, do a heat treatment video. But the fact is, is they're damaging people's homes, and they really don't care. Because, well, you signed off on it. You wanted to get rid of your bed bugs. Well, we're going to burn down your house. Uh, actually, that's what happened in North Carolina. There was a, uh, a company, and I, I have been told not to give the name out for this company, but they are a big name brand company uh, that went in to a man's house, and he ended up, the, the guy, the pest control technician, ended up actually burning the guy's house to the ground. Um, and were they held liable? No, because they had a waiver signed before they had even done the heat treatment at all. Um, this is a, a serious problem and, you know, you're charging people outrageous amounts for these heat treatments. They're not successful and you're running, you know, you, you got somebody's house at risk. It's not worth burning a house down just to get rid of some, you know, bug bites. You know, there are better ways to do the job. Um, so 
anyway, I hope this has helped anybody that was thinking about doing heat treatments. It's really kind of put things in perspective for you so that you can understand the risks before you get into this. Uh, I don't want anybody's house to burn down. So I hope this has helped. You guys have a really great day. If you have any questions, you're welcome to send me a tweet over on Twitter. It's at Green Acres Pest Control or Green Acres PC. That's my Twitter handle, at Green Acres PC. Uh, my website is greenacrespc.com and my Facebook is Green Acres Pest Control LLC. So if you guys are interested in sending me any messages or anything, also on every Saturday night I do a live stream uh, after typically after 10 o'clock I do have children so usually once they get into bed I'll jump on and do a live stream every Saturday night it's uh, called the bed bug show I do record all of my VODs they are up in the uh, in my channel so you can catch them if you if you missed the live stream you can go in and watch them live or watch the pre-recorded live live show and uh, I do take questions live on the air if you have any questions at all you're welcome to ask me anything uh, it doesn't have to be about bed bugs. It could be about ants. It could be about termites, spiders, anything. You know, we're coming up in bug season. It's springtime. Uh, you know, people have bugs other than bed bugs. So you guys have a really great night. Really appreciate it. And I hope I've been helpful. Thanks.